I am going to explain the tools necessary to work in marine air conditioning equipment. There are two elements that are fundamentals. One of them is the set of gauge. The set of gauge is very, very important because uh, with the gauge, we know the pressure in the system. Remember, in previous episode, I explained that the, the refrigeration cycle is based on the pressure of the refrigerant. The pressure in the low pressure side of the system and the pressure in the high pressure side. High pressure side and low pressure side. With this gauge, with this set of gauge, you can read the high pressure and the low pressure of the refrigerant. Now we are going to explain the process to recover the refrigerant in an air conditioned unit, a split unit or a self-contained unit or chiller unit. The process is exactly the same. Uh, equipment that we need in this process. We need uh, safety goggles, of course. Uh, we need uh, gloves. Uh, we need a set of uh, gauge, like this low pressure, high pressure, that's the manifold and the hoses and uh, we need an extra hose uh, normally the people prefer a yellow yellow hose any color but uh, the yellow is better for for learning purposes okay we have a uh, the set of uh, gauge uh, the goggles uh, we have uh, the gloves and uh, we are ready to start the next method is the vapor the vapor method the vapor method is uh, a little slower than the liquid, is most common, is the most common method used. And uh, in, uh, in this method, uh, the refrigerant is recovered in vapor state, and uh, this equipment condensate uh, the refrigerant into liquid, and after that, enter in the cylinder in liquid state. Yes, because we are going to use uh, this diagram. This is the diagram that we are going to use uh, in order to recover the refrigerant. Doesn't matter if the method is liquid or vapor. And the, the, the third method is uh, uh, the push-pull method. Uh, this is a method uh, for uh, equipments with uh, more than 10 pounds of refrigerant. Now we are going to do the process uh, for the vacuum. Uh, in order to do the vacuum, we need uh, the proper vacuum machine. This is uh, the vacuum pump. It's a two-stage uh, pump. Uh, this uh, pump uh, is important, the quality of the oil. Uh, the oil should be clear, should be transparent and it uh, should be according with the level recommended by the manufacturer. Uh, if uh, it's possible, if you see that the, that the oil is a little yellow, I recommend replace the oil for a press oil. The oil recommended for that specific pump. And uh, easy to open here, you replace the oil, you drain in the bottom, it's easy, replace the oil. Keep the oil new one, keep the oil in good condition. This is the recommendation for those specific pumps. Now, the system is properly connected. The vacuum pump is uh, properly connected. Both terminals close. The level of the oil appropriate. The cap of the oil properly close. The hoses ready. And the vacuum gauge connected. In this moment, uh, it's uh, 3100 uh, microns. And the idea is go until 500 microns. This is, uh, this is the the microns recommended. We are going to start with the process right now. In this moment it's uh, 3000. Twenty six hundred, seventeen hundred microns, sixteen hundred microns. In this particular example, uh, we have a low level of refrigerant. In the high pressure site, only have a thirty ps, thirty psi, and exactly the same thirty psi in the low pressure site. In both sites, we have a low, low, low pressure. For that reason, today we are going to recover that refrigerant we are going to do the vacuum and after that we are going to uh, charge the system again and in, in this uh, training uh, equipment we have two evaporators one static evaporator and other air cooled evaporator 
two evaporators, uh, we have uh, the different type of uh, expansion valves. The different type of uh, expansion valves commonly used. Uh, the, we have uh, the, the typical capillary pipes, the capillary pipes, expansion valve, and uh, we have uh, the thermal expansion valve. The first step is uh, open the valve, open the valve on the cylinder, open both valves on the recovery machine, open both valves on the recovery machine, and uh, after that we are going to open, we are going to bleed a little air, air in the system, right now it's bleeded properly, and uh, we are ready, we are ready to open the suction valve, open the suction valve, and we are going to start the system. The system is stopped by itself, we are going to turn off the power, we are going to wait a couple of minutes, and after that we are going to start the system again, and we are going to uh, switch the system to purge. Now we are going to select purge in the bottom, and we are going to purge the system in order to eliminate a small amount of refrigerant in both sides of the system. Okay, the system is stopped by itself, and right now the system is ready to recharge the system again.